question five the cum so look at um question five in the past paper and follow what's happening here ideally i would want you to complete this and other questions before remember complete them before you actually look at the video all right let's see question five the cumulative frequency distribution of the volume of petrol needed to fill the tank of 150 vehicles is shown below so is volume of petrol on the left and cumulative frequency on the right of the table remember cumulative it means to accumulate to pile up all right it keeps adding up until it reaches 150 in this case part a1 it says for the class 21 to 30 determine the lower class boundary all right now remember the lower class boundary is the largest value you would have collected before you round it up to 21 all right 21 is a lower limit here but the boundary can be smaller what's the largest value that you would round up to 21 or the smallest what's the smallest value you would round up to 21 well it would be 20.5 so 20.5 what if you had 20.49 you would round it down to 20 but once it touches 0.5, 20.5 or higher, you round it up to 21. So that's the lower class boundary. Then part 2 says, what is the class width? Alright, what you could do is look at the lower class boundary for the 21 to 30 class, which is 20.5. What is the lower class boundary for the next class? The 31 to 40. Well, it would be the smallest value that you would have measured before rounding it up to 31. So, what you would have is 30.5. You would round it up to that. Then, if you subtract them, let me put the 30.5 at the top since it's a larger number. 30.5 minus 20.5 it would be 10.0 so it would be 10 flat or 10.0 would be the class width notice if you also subtract the two class limits the 31 minus 21 you get the same thing you could do it, you could also do it with the upper class boundary it would be 40.5 the largest number you run back down to 40 40.5 minus 30.5 the upper boundary of this class it would be the largest number you would run back down to 30 not really 30.5 but less than 30.5 and less than 40.5 you would run back down to 30 and 40 or you could say 40 minus 30 and you would get the 10 all right so as a quick review remember lower class boundary for the 21 to 30 class would be the smallest number you'd run up to 21 and that's 20.5 the upper class boundary if they ask you for that next time would be the largest number you run back down to 30 not exactly 30.5 because once it touches 30.5 you go up to 31 so what you could do is say 30.5 and put a little minus sign there to say less than or you could say less than 30.5 right 
if they ask you for what for the upper class boundary in another case but anyway let's continue part b let's pause this and we look at part b another time